Um, Nick Kiprios put it out on his show, Line Movement, friend of the show, Nick Kiprios. Do you think the Leafs have a goaltending controversy, guys? What, Riddick over Jack? No, Freddie over Jack and, and David. Uh, no. I call it a controversy is my, my question. Uh, I, w- <sighs> I, I would have yeah. before the last four games. And uh, the last five games, last five games, because in his game, uh, in his record-breaking 11th win, he wasn't great. Wasn't he good. was bad is another word. Mm-hmm. So it's about five straight. Mm-hmm. And uh, listen, Freddie, do we think Freddie was garbage or injured? Injured. That's what I think about Jack. He's injured. Riddick needs to play. What did you get him for? Yeah. You didn't get him him. for the playoffs. Riddick should play the next like three. Make sure they're healthy. Make sure they're healthy. It's not a controversy. It's not a controversy. If one guy, if he was healthy, he would be starting, you know? Like I, mm-hmm. I can't, I can't call it a controversy when if Anderson comes back and they're like, ah, oh, he's a hundred percent. Then he's going in, and he's going to start, and then we're going to see what we got. So is the controversy then that Sheldon keep keeps starting Jack Campbell, although he's not either played well or hurt or both? Is that the controversy? I think we're overestimating how much the coach knows. The the coach, I mean, Babcock was always prickly about this, not to compare the two, but hey, is so and so going tonight? And he's like. I'm sure they'll tell me because he is like, here is who it is. This is my lineup. And then they tell me whether or not, yes, that's good to go or no, that guy can't play. So I think Sheldon's got in his head. Freddie is one. Jack is two. Riddick is three. I am playing two. Two's Mm. hurt. Three. You know what I mean? But they're not telling him two's hurt. And Jack has, you know, we already know he's played through injury this year. And he looks tiny. He looks tiny in his net. I've mm-hmm. never noticed him looking tiny in his net. That four right. goal, the no. the Which bow one? goal wasn't good. The one that snuck under his uh, his arm. Was that the first one? I think it was the second one. Oh, this is the I only game remember. all year I haven't watched the replay. I don't want to. <laughs> wow, you were really stung by that. <laughs> oh, Damn. just Adam. It was written in the stars in the sky that they were losing that game. So maybe I shouldn't be upset because I can knew I, the whole time. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, did uh, Mrs. Dangle watch with you last night? Mm, she watched, but not. She only. I think she only watched up until it was two nothing, and then she very wisely said, "I'm going to go upstairs and watch some British show." Okay. <laughs> and then she did. You guys have Brit Box or something like that, where you can watch all the British shows. The midwife. Uh, no, okay. Adam. She watches everything legally. Okay, uh, that's Britbox. We've um, <laughs> never watched a show from Europe illegally ever. Um, I, the reason I ask is I would love to know how she would describe your reaction to last night's loss. Like when you come up to bed after that. I mean, it, I guess it's been a while. Like, you do you go down? Sometimes you record right away, but did you today? Did you go and no, do your, no, no, no? So you went to bed. Yeah. What'd you say? Do you say anything, or do you just go to sleep? I was just like the Leafs lost. The they they lost. They actually lost. And she Did just she goes, give you a hug oh. or uh, she just gives me like a pat on the shoulder and goes right back to the midwife. <laughs> Adam, how did you react after the Leafs lost? I went to bed. <laughs> as someone as someone who doesn't care as much about the game. <laughs> how did you react? <laughs> I mean, it was sort of like I you know what? You know what I you know what I did? I groaned a little bit and I'll tell you why. It had no nothing to do with the Leafs. It had everything to do with the hot takes. And listen, I'm guilty of my hot takes too, but I'm like, "Oh man, here they come." And the first thing I saw this morning was the Keith Olbermann tweet saying, "If you think the Leafs have the, you know, intestinal fortitude to win the cup, blah 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 blah." And and everything he said about the Canucks was true. It was an emotional win. They do deserve all the credit in the entire world. That was fucking awesome. Good for them. But at the same time, it's like sometimes a team can have an emotional win and the other team walks away completely unscathed like it's another day. And I think that's what it was. It doesn't have to. Everybody acts like everything is a movie all the time. You know, I, I, uh, it's, it's okay to imagine a scenario where one team is not as emotionally affected by a game as the other, right? I mean, the Leafs are clearly 
emotionally affected by their power play. <laughs> that is a problem. I mean, like, yeah, that's a oh, serious it's problem. Rest, it's crept yeah. into the rest of their game. And so Matthew scores last night. It's mm-hmm. at the end of the five minute power play. 13 seconds left. Right. And I think they're two for 46 now mm-hmm. or yes. 47 or 45. It's yeah, yeah. mid forties. And so he has both of those two. Both are Matthews. One was a power play goal on a power play where they had already surrendered a shorthanded goal. And another was at the tail end of a five minute power play. They haven't just scored a power play goal and that's it. Well, for over a month. I in think. the midst of that, though, there are things like the Spezza play where he's literally standing in front of an open net and he hits the post. Yeah. Like you got, you got bad luck. It's, it, it's it a game. Actually, it's a, the power play did look okay. Yeah, That's like he he thought. he should have he scored there. It just it's just, it's a, it's a puck and it didn't go in the net. Are you know? the are the advanced and I don't know the answer to this. Are the advanced metrics on the Leafs power play positive? Meaning, okay, the goals aren't there, but are the I metrics doubt. positive? I doubt it. No, that's okay. What I read it was like last week and last time I saw it advanced. It was that they're not that great. Okay, and, and, and you know, no, despite problem. despite the fact that I've gotten all worked up. You know, because I'm sure people were yelling, like they did win. Well, no, they didn't. But a lot of people are upset that that um, in uh, I think it was with 30 seconds left, uh, that goal didn't count. That they reviewed. Uh, there's no conclusive evidence. Like I, I don't know what to tell you there. Oh, yeah. I do have one little hot take, and I would I would like to get your opinion on this. That's your Holtby did that little scoop. Everyone knows the scoot, the goalie scoot, when the puck is very obviously in the net, but the goalie drags their pads out to drag the puck out. Yeah. If you can't see the puck, then it's not a goal. You know? Right. But no one gets up like that ever. There's no reason to get up like that unless you're hiding the fact that a goal was scored. And I think the rule should stay as it is. If you cannot see the puck, it should be you need conclusive evidence. But if the goalie does the scoot, I think during the review... You should be able to go, okay, we can't see the puck, so it's not a goal. He mm-hmm. did the scoot, two-minute minor. Delay of game. You delayed the game. That's interesting. You That's made it harder fun. to do our job, delay a game. <laughs> and that goes for Leaf goal. If Jack Campbell does it, if Freddie Anderson does it, I, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Well, So we agree it's cheating then. <laughs> it is. It can is. I, the scoot can... is. There's no reason to get up that way. Can I provide a simpler solution? Sure. Uh, the, te- goal? the technology exists where you can just you can track the puck and you can track as to whether it crosses the line or not. They do it in real time in tennis with a much faster ball. It is possible if you just invested in the cameras and the little chip thingy. If you just did that one time in one off season for every arena, this whole thing could be solved and a little light can go off and tell you if a puck crosses that goal line in a while, while the play is not whistled dead. Like you can do that. Right. But have you seen like the, the emails back and forth, like, head of officiating and everything and the and the makeup call controversy like everything that we know about the NHL's interpretation of their own rules suggests they're aloof and yeah. i don't think they care enough to do what you're saying yeah cuz they they're, have they're no like, interest in just getting it right are we going to spend this much money on i don't know 10 goals a season no we're not we're the NHL <laughs> Yeah, which is why it. When every time someone tells me it's about getting the call right, no, it's not. It's not. It's no, entirely it's, not. It's no, about it's getting off air on time. No, yeah. you wouldn't getting have makeup calls time. like all that whole controversy. You wouldn't have those things if about getting it right. This yeah. is about something else. And and if they if they could do a better job of promoting their sport, they could be like baseball, which will have six hour games every once in a while because it goes twenty innings. They're not worried about getting off the air on time. They're like, "Fuck you, we're baseball." If, if the NHL <laughs> said, listen, uh, guys, um, uh, we, we promoted this game extremely well, and it's going to outrate anything else that's on TV currently, like baseball and football, although baseball's numbers are falling a little bit. Um, uh, if, if that were the case, then it would matter. And you could do three-on-three three overtime until literally the legs fell off. 
until finally somebody scores. Baseball did this year try and curve the long game things by starting a runner on second base. If you get to the 11th inning, now you get an Was automatic runner on second. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And also any double header games are now seven innings. So they are trying to cut down on game time, but they're still ridiculously long. Yeah. 